Hello everybody, season 24 is live in Diablo 3 and this is a spicy meatball, I'll tell you what, this is a great season and I'll talk about that in a moment. I'm going to run you guys through everything you need to do to complete your seasonal journey, which of course is going to get you this cool new portrait, this cool new pet, and some of the old portraits as well, including uh, the Seraph wings, which I think the Seraph wings are, are awesome. So let's take a closer look at this stuff. This is the uh, the Seraphim Wings. I like them. I think they're really cool. Then, of course, you have this really cool pet <laughs> that we get if you complete your full seasonal journey. Obviously, an homage to Diablo 2. We'll talk about that more in a moment. And then you have this cool portrait frame, which you can't even see over here because my name is in the way, but it looks cool. Um, and then you have these sets of right here. You also get these if you uh, do your full seasonal journey, if you haven't already unlocked those. So why is season 24 spicy? Well, the reason why is because you get a new item called an ethereal item. It has a drop rate somewhere between a an ancient item and like a, a primal ancient, basically. it's It's got a low drop rate, but when you get one, oh baby, are they spicy. So this is my my hammered in build. This is the the uh, the seeker of the light Crusader build. And this is the ethereal weapon that I am currently using. As you can see, it has a lot on it. Uh, I, I personally like the plus one max damage per paragon level up to 800. That's fun. And then it, it rolls with a random legendary power or, or weapon power and a random class passive. Now, there are three unique ethereal items per class which means there are a total of 21 ethereal items and if you manage to collect all 21 you unlock a feat of strength which gives you the transmog of all 21 of them forever so these items are not going to exist outside of 24 once you complete season 24 or season 24 ends these items go away they're gone we're not going to get them again. So that's why this season is fun because these items are ridiculous and it's, it's really fun to use them. But if you collect them all, you're going to get all the transmogs for them. So let's quickly take a look at the rest of the Crusader ones just so you kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. And, and, and I'll just be very clear. Like this one is a blessed uh, shield one. It's got it also gave me the renewal passive. Like you see that this is the same one, um, including the one that I have on. They all have the plus one max damage to Paragon level up to 800, right? A and that's because each of these ones roll that uh, in particular. But this one up here does consecutive hits to enemies, increase attack speed by 3% up to 30% for three seconds. As you can see, this one has the same thing, though it has a different weapon and passive effect. Right. So that's how that works. So these these are all three of them. So you can see that this one looks like this for the Crusader. Uh, it's the one I'm currently wearing. But if I switch to the flail, the flail looks like that, which is sick, even though it clips through the little character thing there. And then finally, you have the um, the scepter, which looks like that. So they look awesome. They are just pure awesome. I love them. I love the concept of them. I love how they're implemented. This is actually by far my favorite season, uh, period. I just, I seriously love these ethereal items. They're hard to get. And here's the thing. You can get them while leveling up. So if you're leveling up a character and you haven't done that already, it's possible to get one. And while you're leveling it up, it'll just like go, cr you'll go crazy with it, how much extra damage you'll do for a bit. It is a lot of fun. But let's talk about the seasonal journey and what you need to do. So we'll start with uh, chapter one, going all the way through. I'm not going to take too long on this. It's your basic stuff. It's, you know, socket five gems in your gear, complete a Nephilim rift, yada, yada, yada. We've done this before. I, I do this every single season. I make a, a video like this every single season. Chapter two, again, same thing. Blacksmith, jeweler, mystic to level 12. Here's the deal. If you're leveling up or you're not familiar with doing a seasonal journey on Diablo, 
I have a couple guides that I'm going to be putting in the, the comments. I'll, I'll be pinning the comments so you can go check them out. The first is the Ultimate Seasonal Starter Guide, which will help you level up as quickly as possible and get the best start to your season if you haven't done that yet. Or if you're like me and jump between P- like playing on PC and then I finish my journey on PC and then I go to go to console. Although I may not do that this season because... Life is hectic right now, and this season has a long tail collecting all of these ethereal items. Oh, I should also mention the ethereal items can drop for other classes. So, like, I could be playing Crusader and get a Barbarian one. But as you see here, I'm Paragon 605. I've collected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And I haven't collected another class one yet, but it is possible. Right, so... If you want to level up the best, I'll put your uh, I'll put the, the the seasonal starter guide in the description along with a couple other ones. So chapter two is when things start getting good. That's when you have to be level seventy in order to get it done. You make sure that you craft a level seventy ring or amulet. You transmogrify an item. You replace a property at the mystic. Your typical stuff. Then for chapter three. You're going to need to kill Izul and Rakanos at level 70 on at least master difficulty. Um, and you're going to need to comp- you're going to need to do the bounty caches. This is what I say every single time I do one of these videos, which is I have a trick instead of getting these bounty caches while you're at max level, you're going to kill three birds, yes, three birds with one stone. You're going to around level 50 and I mentioned this in the seasonal start guide, uh start doing all of the bounties. I start with Act 5 and work my way backwards because it tends to get harder as you get closer to 70. So I start with the hardest one and go to the easiest one. Um, and at level 50, you're going to turn your, or you're going to go and complete all the bounties, but don't turn them into Tyrael. Just keep them on your character. Like basically just, just keep them ready to turn in. And then once you hit level 70, the moment you hit level 70, go turn them all in just in case you disconnect or anything, right? You want to like turn them in as quickly as possible. The reason why is because they roll with the level 70 gear when you turn them in um, at level 70, which is going to complete, this is the first one, right? So this is the the, the first bird that it's, it's killing. It's, why would we kill birds? I don't understand. It's completing one bird. So we're going to do all five acts. Then you're going to do the second one, which is in chapter four. This is the important one. You have to get five blacksmith recipes and five jewel craft recipes. The jewel crafting recipes is the difficult one because the jewel crafting recipes um, will drop one out of each bounty cache, which means that if you complete all five acts and you turn them in all at level 70, you're going to get all five of those jewel crafting recipes. Bada bing, bada boom. You've already got this stuff done. The blacksmithing ones is easy. The third bird that we're going to take down with one stone is you're also be leveling at the same time. So you're going to be leveling. You're going to be completing the bounty things that you need for, for chapter three, and you're going to be getting your patterns for chapter four. Ooh, man, this, this, this season has got me feeling good. The same thing goes with Chapter 4. You have to kill the Key Wardens on Torment 4. Um, you have to kill the Butcher at level 70 on Torment 2. You have to kill Urzale on Torment 4 at level 70. You have to complete a greater of 20 solo. Oh, also, you'll get the cube while leveling up, so don't worry about that. Now, this is when I always shift gears, and I say, once you hit level 70, do your normal stuff. Go, you know, get, get Chapter 4 done so you get your free set. For me, this season as a Crusader it is the Seeker of the Light set, which actually is quite good. This season, we had an awful leveling start. We, My wife and I didn't get anything while leveling up. It was really bad. She got uh, an ethereal like right off the bat, but that didn't help us because it was obsolete like 10 levels later and it wasn't doing anything. So we had a bad start, but... but as soon as I hit level 70, I got all of the supporting items for the set and then it was just... It's so easy from there. Um, I did uh, I did my 70 Greater Rift uh, solo within four hours of the season starting. So there you go. That gives you an idea of how much easier the, the season was for us. But you'll, you'll get your free set once you hit um, Chapter 4 done. Now, here's the key. While you're doing all your stuff, you're going to be keeping in mind a couple things. The first is that you're going to be leveling three Legendary Gems to level 70. If you want to complete your full seasonal journey all the way down to Guardian and get these these things, well, these two things in particular, um, you're going to make sure that you're leveling three legendary gems to level 70. Do not do 
the the sacking of your of your 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 uh, your, your legendary gem yet because there is in um in conqueror there is one for b- 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 uh, augmenting a ancient legendary item which i can't find but i know it's here there it is use knife cube to augment an ancient legendary item with a level 50 plus gem that it's tempting to want to do that but always look ahead instead of getting one gem up to 50 and then augmenting an ancient item and then going back and then now having to relevel a gem all the way to 70 just get three gems to 70 and use one of those gems and just destroy it it's probably going to be your band of the powerful because that's the first gem that you get just start leveling it up um don't waste any time get it you know get three gems to 70 and then uh yeah use the bane of the powerful and just just augment an item with that level 70 gem and then you'll get not only this one done but you'll get that one done too then we have the three conquests that we have to keep an eye out for these are really easy this season in fact this season in general because of the crazy ethereal items is really easy it just has a longer tail if you want to collect all those transmogs so the thing is you're going to want to do this one this is really easy we just talked about this getting three gems to 70 means you're gonna you're gonna get three gems to 65 so that is one conquest done we've already we've we've checked that off the list that's easy next is boss mode i am gonna put one of my boss mode guides uh, on how to complete this in the the comments that guide is mildly out of date because this is so significantly easier now you can do it solo uh, especially with a good ethereal item it's very very quick you just need a, a mild speed build where you can get to bosses quickly i always start in act five and work my way backwards with the bosses so like i start by killing mouthale and urzail and adria and then i go to act four and i do diablo and, and uh Izul and rakanos or or Uz, Uz, whatever his name is you know you know what i'm talking about then once we get boss mode done which i suggest doing boss mode i it seems if if you've never done it before it seems kind of daunting but don't worry it is really easy i just use my phone i put a 20 minute timer um as soon as i start the game or i I do the stopwatch so i know how far i am through it but it's really easy to complete and then finally the final thing that i do this season would be the thrill which is reach greater rift 45 solo without any set item equipped that means any set items that means your rings nothing so you just do it just bland now i did mine in like partial yellows but i just did it with uh, a hammer set having the scepter i used this scepter i used uh everything else you know supporting items for the hammer build and then i just had a bunch of other random items and it wasn't necessarily easy but it was pretty easy now if you're struggling with it you can always go get this item right here legacy of dreams this is a legendary gem just drops from doing greater rifts uh eventually you will collect all of the gems if you keep doing greater rifts so what it says is while you have no set bonuses equipped Every legendary item you have equipped increases your damage dealt by 3.75% and reduces your damage taken by 2%. And then this, if you get it to 25, is doubled for ancient items. If you're struggling getting this uh, this conquest done, that's what you're going to use. It's pretty easy to, to get done. So these are the three you're going to get on a good day, or the equivalent for hardcore, level 3 gems to 65. Kill all bosses on level, on do it, do it on Torment 10 uh, within 20 minutes of the start of the game. And then reach greater at 45 solo without any set items equipped. Boom. Easy. Easy, easy. Don't have to worry about curses. Don't do curses. It's just, it's not worth it. Don't also do, um... Which one is it? Years of War. Reach Greater Rift 55 solo with the full bonuses of six of the following class sets. I mean, you could if you're going to be leveling all the classes for for the ethereals, but don't. Just don't. It's just not worth it. Just do these three and you'll be done. Now, to wrap this up, uh, by the way, you can always open up your seasonal journey on PC by hitting Shift J at any time. And if you're on console, it's one of the D-pad buttons. I always forget what it is. I think it's down. It might be up. It might be left. I think it's right. I don't know. (laughs) Right, let's get into the final thing that I wanted to talk about. We get the conquest, right? Obviously, Guardian requires you to have three conquests, so that's that's nice and easy. The This one is a little spicy. Kill Skeleton King at level 70 in under 15 seconds on Torment 13. Do it on Torment 13. The countdown starts when you start that encounter, as soon as you go into the room. So get over there quick, click on him, because he takes like 45 seconds to get out of his chair. He's an old man. You know how it is. Be patient with him. Don't don't age shame him. 
But once he gets up, just kill him. <laughs> and then you'll be you'll be done. Then the other thing to keep in mind is, oh goodness, I think it is in Destroyer, um, which is to kill Belial um, at level, no, which one is it? Uh, there is a, another timed one. It's not as difficult though. I don't really foresee any other issues on all of this. You have to kill Greed, so make sure you do Puzzle Ring, all that. Oh, this is the one. Queen Arane in under 30 seconds on Torment 13. Super easy. If you have a bunch of damage, you're just going to kill her and she won't run away. Even if she doesn't run away, you should be able to do it in under 30 seconds. Right. That's basically everything. There's not really anything here that is going to step out and trip you up. It's going to be super easy. The only thing that I say is kind of difficult is the set dungeons, depending on what class you are. If you're playing a barbarian, just don't do the Wrath of the Waste set dungeon. Do a different set dungeon. Wrath of the Waste one is by far the hardest one. I don't understand why it hasn't changed. It's still the same as it was before, and it's still difficult. Do all of the other set dungeons, though. Um, you also have to, by the way, if you want to complete everything, master the set dungeon so just do that all at once and if you're like me and you like to kind of you know have a little fun you do all of the requirements for all of this like all the way through guardian where everything is complete on all of these except for the set dungeon then you could do the set dungeon and it and it tells everybody on your friends list on pc that you completed slayer champion destroyer conquer and guardian all at once and it's kind of funny that's what i've been doing lately anyways that's how you get all this cool stuff for your season I love the ethereal items. This is my favorite season so far. I can't wait to get all the ethereal items and start using them as transmog uh, later on. And then we have Diablo 2 coming out in September. It's just everything is great on Diablo. I am loving it. Let me know what class you're playing for this season. Are you going to go collect all the ethereals? Maybe you are. Let me know. But with all that being said, we shall see you guys next time. Next time.